Welcome to part 21 of the Autodesk Inventor The Basics series. In this episode, we'll take a look at how to use the Design Accelerator for more complex assembly design and animation. I've already designed and constrained two parts of the assembly. Now, from the Design tab, under Power Transmission, select Disk Cam. The Disk Cam Component Generator will appear, allowing you to modify this pre-designed part. I'll change the roller radius from 0.5 to 2 and press OK. A left click will place the part into the assembly. Double click the new part and choose to edit it. Quickly create a sketch in a center hole and key slot and extrude the sketch through the part. Returning to the assembly, you can now use the make command to align the parts, being sure to define a distance of 0.125 inches between them. Next, define an outside tangent constraint between the lifter and the disc cam, followed by an angle constraint on the flat surface of the key in the cam case. The allowed motion of your parts is now defined. In the model tree, right click on the angle constraint and choose drive. Define the start angle at 0 degrees and the end at 360,000. In the advanced options, change the increment to 10 and the repetitions to start and start for a more fluid animation. Pressing the play button will allow you to see the assembly in action. You've now successfully used the design accelerator. Join me again next time for part 22 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series where I'll go through an introduction to sheet metal using Autodesk Inventor.